Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're doing some flags and we're continuing to, to explore the different things you might see in flags that have to do with maths. So we're looking at symmetry, we're looking at shapes, and we're looking at parallel and perpendicular lines. And my first guest presenter has done the flag of... What, what country is this the flag of? Sweden. Sweden, okay, and what can you tell me about it? What, uh, where's the line of symmetry? Yeah. Okay, so there's a line of symmetry horizontally, good, and where are the parallel lines? Yeah. Um, no, this, this. Okay, so these arrows highlight parallel lines, so there's two pairs of parallel lines. Are there any perpendicular lines meeting at right angles? in all the corners. So probably nearly every flag is going to have some perpendicular lines. So that's fantastic. We've got line of symmetry, parallel lines, and perpendicular lines. And can you tell me what shapes are used in this, tra in, in this flag? Um, What's the shape here? Rectangle. A rectangle there. Fantastic. So that's Sweden. Um, my next guest presenters have got a flag that we should recognize here. And what flag is this? The United Kingdom. Okay, so it's more of a sketch. I haven't quite used a ruler, so some of our concepts might not be absolutely right. But could you tell me where would a uh, line of symmetry be? Could it go straight down the middle? Okay, well, uh, there would be one, but I think we have to watch out for the uh, the cross. So I think it's the St. Patrick Cross, the, the Northern Ireland Cross, because I think in the Union Jack it's slightly off kilter, almost rotated. So we'll have to watch out for that. Um, are there any parallel lines, though? Um, are they here? Because if they carried on, they wouldn't leave. Correct. That would be a pair of parallel lines, and so are those. And as we said before, there would be right angles in the corner, and there would be a, a perpendicular line there. What shapes have... And there's, there was another one, also of the same flag. Um, what shapes have we used in this flag? Triangles. Correct. So we've got a triangle there. And a cross. Yeah, a cross made up of two rectangles meeting. Fantastic. The next flag we've got is, what country did you do here? I did the Jamaican flag. The Jamaican flag? Okay, so I think uh, we'd need to have swapped the gold with the black, is that right? Okay, um, but still there are a number of things we can talk about here. Uh, you've labeled some of the uh, shapes. What shapes have you used? I used, um, I used a triangle. Triangle, and where are the parallel lines? Uh, the ones that don't meet, the, 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 the lines that are like train tracks, the lines that don't meet. Uh, these ones. Great, so we'd have arrows there and arrows there. And there's one more thing, where are the lines of symmetry, where we could reflect the shape? Uh, like one, they green, but okay, so if we colored this in, and if these lines met, uh, we could have a line of symmetry there and there. Fantastic, we've got one more to do in this video. And this is a flag that there might be less uh, lines of symmetry. This is the flag of? Australia. Okay, and um, what shapes have we got in this flag? Um, we've got a rectangle, a square. Okay, so uh, this is a rectangle here, and we've got a, a star there, and we've got the Union Jack there, so in there are a number of the features we had before. But we don't have any... Symmetry. Or parallel lines. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, like and subscribe. subscribe. Bye. Bye all. Bye. Join us for the next one.